Hello everyone, my name is Danielle and this is my pre presentation about photosynthesis. How do plants get their energy? Plants are living organisms, which means they need energy to survive. But how do they generate enough energy to thrive? There are mu multiple components which produce energy in a process called photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is a process of creating energy for a plant. Carbon dioxide. How does carbon dioxide help a plant create energy? Plants need air to breathe, but instead of breathing oxygen, it breathes carbon dioxide. Photosynthesis converts it into oxygen. Here you can see the carbon dioxide being absorbed into the plant and oxygen flowing out. Chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is the chemical that, that pigments leaves and is found in microscopic containers called chloroplasts, which are found in the leaves. It, it absorbs sunlight and puts the light through photosynthesis, which converts it into plant food, which is energy. This is what chlorophyll and chloroplasts looks like. Here. Water. How does water create energy? Water is a necessity when photosynthesizing. It carries nutrients from the soil, from the roots in the soil, all the way to the chloroplast. With no water, the plant will begin to wilt. Here you can see the, the water being absorbed by the soil, like, yeah, and the roots. Why do plants need sunlight to survive? Plants rely on solar energy. Chloroplast absorbs sunlight and puts it through photosynthesis and converts it into energy. How does oxygen contribute to generating energy for plants? Even though plants breathe carbon dioxide, at night there is no sunlight, and since plants get their energy from the sun, the plant depends on oxygen for its new source of energy. Glucose. What does glucose have to do with plants? Photosynthesis with, creates glucose, which is where plants get energy. Basically, glucose is plant food. It is created when water, sunlight, and carbon dioxide is mixed. Here are facts about plants. Plants are producers, which means they don't depend on other organisms to generate en energy. The majority of plants are found in the ocean, and there are over three, 300 320,000 species of plants. Conclusion. What happens during the process of photosynthesis? During photosynthesis, many components come together to generate energy and sustain the plant. What is your feedback? Wonderful. I'm very impressed, Danielle, with your presentation and with your the information, the quality of delivery, and the, the richness of your information that you have presented. But I have one question for you. Yeah. So when you say the sunlight is is necessary for the for the plants to survive and thrive, how about those plants that are inside the house? How can they survive if there's no sunlight inside the house? Usually, um, Jacob in his class, he did an experiment and he left his plant in the dark. Mm. After a couple of days, the plant started growing, but immediately after, it started to die and wilt. Wonderful. So, what you're saying is, even though the, the, the plants are inside the house, as long as it's getting the, the light, it yes. will still survive. So, yeah. the sunlight is necessary uh, for, for the plants to survive, even though there's no direct sunlight going to the, to the plants. Is yes. that what you're saying? Yes. Very good. Excellent. Thank you so much, Danielle. It's, it's a very pleasant to hear your presentation. Good job and job well done. Thank you.